Oh, look at this kimbap. It's like rice, tuna, egg, carrot, cucumber, imitation crab meat. Can't go wrong. Yo guys, what's going on? This is Francois Mark, your favorite American expat living in Seoul, South Korea. I am with my buddy Justin Park today. We are walking around Myeongdong and just having an out day. Just enjoying the weather and enjoying each other's company. Justin. It's your favorite kill phone in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we'll get back to you. <laughs> wow, so we're here in Myeongdong now. There are so many people now. Like before, during the corona time, there weren't so many people, but wow, life has returned. Okay, okay. You saw your mom used to go here. When she was like a kid. Okay. Let's test it out. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's like there's a line. Yo, there's a line. Okay, okay, so the food is here. Well, part of it. Justin, what did you get? Jormyeon. Can you explain what is that? It's just uh, vegetables, vegetable noodles, with spicy sauce and eggs. Okay. And I got like some kalbu soup. No? Udon. Udon, right? And it's got some dumplings inside, but I'm going to take them out and give them to Justin because I don't eat pork. Good. It's like just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Hot and like tasty. You like it? Can't you hear me slurping? <laughs> good spot, good spot. Oh, look at those noodles. Ham. 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 It's like rice, tuna, egg, carrot, cucumber, imitation crab meat. Can't go wrong. Justin's over here stuck in his face. <laughs> Yo, this is delicious. Look at this. Mm. You dip it in the sauce. Mm. Oh, it's actually, it's actually bread with egg inside. Mmm, pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. The top part isn't cooked that much, so. Oh, but it's cooked, it's cooked enough. Yo, this is literally just bread with egg inside, but it's sweet. Oh. And it costs just 1,500 won, so it's like a dollar and 50 cents. We've been at like three different stores already. So we're now at H&M. We went to Zara, we went to, where else? Top 10. Oh, top 10. Justin is so indecisive. 
He's probably not gonna get. Bro, they don't have my size, man. Yeah, I've heard that before. He's just not gonna get anything. He's got like four pairs of pants in his not hands. Five. Five. He's not gonna get either one. I know it. <laughs> Watch me get it, yo. We'll Watch see. Me You're actually gonna get a pair. Yeah. Yo, I told this. You. This is like the first time in history <laughs> that he actually decided on a pair of pants. Justin, what are you doing? Ah, uh, you're making you. my story, bro. Instagram. Oh, nice, nice. Which drink did you get? Um, something called the blended, I think. Cause they didn't have a uh, americano. Is it coffee? Yeah. Uh -huh. And what did I get? I forgot. It's pineapple juice, right? Yeah, pineapple juice. Cool, cool. That's a really good coffee. Really? So how does this compare to like, um, I guess the regular coffee that you would order at like Edia or um, a place like that? This is more bitter, mm. I think, and I like my coffee like a lot bitter and mm. strong. Kind of keeps, uh, kind of helps you get the day going, especially if it's really early and stuff. And um, I like it because it's kind of like a slushy. Oh right, yeah. there is ice in there, right? Yeah, but it's not like a full like ice cube. It's uh, like a slush ice. Okay. Which I like it because it tastes like a slurpee or something, you know? Like a coffee slurpee. Yeah, so it's pretty good. The truth for me, let's taste this pineapple juice. Amazingly, it tastes exactly like pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> but a little more bitter. So maybe that's like the theme of this restaurant. It's like more authentic, not a lot of sugar in their, their product. Yeah, one more time, you said in Korea. Yeah, so most like Korean coffee stores or coffee shops that I've been to, especially all the big brand ones, mm. they don't have like kind of juice. Or if they do, it would be in a bottle or a can. Ah, right, right. They wouldn't serve it separately like in the cup or something. Yeah. I'm gonna try the pastry. So. Justin got the, what is this, like a pretzel? Yeah, pretty pretzel basic. Mm. <laughs> is there salt inside? Like It's just salt, pretzel, and butter, I think. Yo, that sounds good. Actually, there's like a huge chunk of butter. Chunk of butter. Yeah. That's terrible for your cholesterol. Yeah. Got the classic pain au chocolat, uh, because I've developed a taste for French pastries, because I lived in France. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Good. Is it worth the price? I'm very picky about my food, to be honest. But right now, all I can taste is chunk of butter. Chocolate butter? Just chunk of butter. Oh, chunk of butter. Uh, mm. oh. No. So far, it's pretty good. Okay, to the moon. Je vais commencer à manger le pain au chocolat. J'espère que c'est bon. C'est délicieux. Ça a l'air très délicieux, mais on ne sait pas. C'est bizarre. Maintenant, je parle en français parce que normalement, je ne parle pas en français. Mais parce que je vais manger euh, ce pain au chocolat, mon français vient de sortir automatiquement. Donc, c'est parti. It's so good. It tastes just like pain au chocolat. 
Exactement comme on parle au chocolat en France. Exact. Exact comme on en France. Exact. Really? Sérieusement, c'est bon. C'est bon. délicieux. Mm. Le goût, c'est pas. Euh, c'est pas le goût générique. Le moment hors de France, quand on mange un pain au chocolat ou des déserts qui est français, hors de France, il a un goût très générique. Mais ce pain au chocolat, c'est authentique. C'est un goût très, très, très France, très français. Young Dong is definitely back, back in action. So you need to get out here. Anyways, we're gonna log off and see you in the next time. Thanks a lot for joining us. Take care, love you guys. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Peace, Justin. See ya.